Welcome to my channel, Make Easy. In my previous video, I explained the analytical question, debugging few questions, and find the output programs also. And there are many more videos of pattern printing, and which is important for grad 10 students, those who are preparing for SE. So you can check it out. Go to browser and go to YouTube. Search Make Easy QBasic. You will get this channel. I have explained uh, dry run table, how to make the dry run, find the output, and there are many more in my YouTube channel. You can just check it out. There are different playlists. You can see analytical question, debugging, and then find the output programs are here in this playlist. And function sub procedure programs are here. I have explained output, find the output with dry run table, debugging of file handling also, there is one video. And pattern printing programs playlist. There are many more videos, file handling related, all the programs are there. So you can just check it out and understand this concept. Today we are focusing on two max question that is debugging of function and sub procedure. So let's begin. I hope you have basic understanding of how function works, how to call the function and the definition. If you don't know, I'll make another video for that. I'll keep the link in the description of this video as well. So you can check it out how to write a function or sub procedure in QBC. Okay, so if you have a little bit understanding of that, let's begin now. It will take time, so you should watch this video till the end. I have written here different types of programs, so I will explain you each so you can understand function sub procedure in this video itself. Okay, let's begin. So before I correct this or before I do debugging of the program, that means correcting the errors, you should try it by yourself. Pause the video, try it by yourself and check whether you have done correct or not. Okay, in this side, I have written here this program with <clears throat> some error. So we need to write this program once again in this side by correcting the errors. So let's go line by line. I have copied the same program over here, which have errors. So let's check line by line. First of all, declare function sum a comma b comma c. The program is written to calculate sum of three numbers using the function. So a comma b comma c, fine. Input line also correct. I'm taking three input in the single line, fine. Then after that, <clears throat> In the print statement, I'm calling the function. Function name is S U M sum A B C. In this here, I have written this S A comma B comma C. This is function call. And when we need to call the function, we should write same function name and parameters. So in here, I have made the correction. That is this. In exam, you should underline these things after correcting sum A comma B comma C. This is the one error. This is corrected. Next. Now function sum a comma b comma c s equals to a comma a plus b plus c. This is the actual logic here in the function module. But what I'm writing here is s function return a value. So if you want to return a value to the main module from where it is called for function is called from here in here, you need to return a value from this function. So what you should write, you should write function name. So this is another error. So next error after that. After returning, you should write here end function, not only end. So there are three errors in this program and we have corrected three. In the exam, four errors will be there. So you should correct that step by step. So this is the debugging program and this is also corrected. So you should underline this also. I'm making this red color to understand. Okay, next one, let's try. Calculate the area of circle, fine. So to calculate the area of circle, we need one parameter that is called radius, but it is written here, A, we should write here R, because we need radius. After taking, uh, writing R, we should enter the value for radius, enter R, it is fine. Now we are calling, this is the another way of calling the function, because function returns a value. So we are calling function from here, area R, and then function return a value, that return value is stored in S, so after that, we can print the value of S. So we should write here, not area, S. The return value is stored in S, so we should print that. Okay, so this is another way of calling the function. After that, function area R, fine. Now again, we are writing here S. What is S? Because the return value is stored in S, we should write here S. No, we need to write here area. Area is used to the fun area is function name and it is used to return the value to the main module from where it is called. So in here, 
if we write here area equals to the formula area for uh, circle is pi r square then the value will be returned to here so we have corrected this also that is we should write here in function we should write the function name and assign a value or use the formula then after that again we need to write here end function so this, there are again three errors in this program and we have corrected that in the exam you should underline corrected things now it is correct and in here also we have corrected this in the bracket it was written a we should have written r now it is done next one again pause the video try it by yourself and then continue watching to display the greatest among two numbers now the declaration this is error we need to correct it here so i am just going through it i have copied the same program error program here i will correct it now declare function check a comma b fine greatest among two numbers so in the bracket a comma b then after that input any two numbers a comma b fine now we are calling function the return value will be stored in z but while calling the function we should write a comma b also in the bracket because we need to pass the value of a comma b this is what function call so this is corrected thing while calling the function parameters also should be here these are what arguments while calling the function a comma b are the arguments we should write it here after this function executed it will return some value and it's stored in z so we should print the greatest number is z fine and end okay function check n so we pass the value a comma b so we should receive the value both values not only one so a comma b also here so this is also corrected thing so i'll make it red color now we need to check if a greater than b then we should write here we are checking condition we should write then after if statement z equals to a z equals to a if a is greater than b then we should return a that is greatest number so to return we should write check that is the function name so check equals to a not z equals to a this is another error then next is else if we don't need to write else if we need to write else only because we are not checking another condition if a is greater than b then a we are returning value a else we will return b check b fine and if and end function correct this is done next one divisible by 7 or not okay in this one we need to pass only one value so the entered value is divisible by 7 or not we need to check that so declare function check dollar and y dollar because it will return is divisible is not divisible something like that this is what character or a string so that's why we need to write dollar this is correct enter any number we are storing <coughs> the number in a fine and we are calling function in this way in the print statement itself the number is check dollar of a fine so we are taking input in a we are passing value a in this argument as argument and we have written here and this is fine you can change this to a or you can write and also no problem while declaration it is fine you can change or you can just write same you can write and also but in which variable you are taking input you should pass that while calling the function this is what function call correct now function check dollar of n so we pass the value a value of a that can be 10 12 13 17 or any other value that value is received by n this is also fine we can write here n the value passed by a is received by n fine this is correct so if n mod 7 in here we don't have a we have n so n mod 7 equals to 0 then we should write here then in the if statement we should write then this is another error then check dollar equals to divisible by 7 this is fine but whenever you will write this string you should write in the double quotation so double quotation is missing you should write this message in the double quotation okay else if we don't need else if because we are not checking another conditions it is only else then again check dollar we are using dollar we are storing this message so in the double quotation this is also another error so let me correct it then after that we use if so we should write end if also so there are one two three four five six error in the exam four error will be there so you need to solve that four errors sometime it may be five but it will be four almost every time now even or odd 
So we declare a function check dollar and when the one number we need find enter any number we are storing that number enter by the user in a and we are calling the function from here so we should write here dollar because this is also even or odd so we should use dollar because it will return even or odd message we are storing that return value in c dollar this is another way of calling function and we are printing the number is c dollar so it will be even or odd fine there is error in this line so we should write here check dollar of a fine now the value passed by a variable is received by n fine it may be 10 12 or any number good if n mod 2 equals to 0 we should write here then again if we are using if statement then you need to write then so then one error if this condition is true check dollar equals to even we need to pass even in the main module so we are using function name that is check dollar but inside the double quotation we need to write so again this is wrong so we should keep here double quotation in the message so this is also another error so we are correcting in the exam you should underline that and if and if also required fine this is also done okay next one negative positive or zero so check dollar again this function will require only one number so we are keeping n but this will return this function will return negative positive or zero so we need to write dollar again so input a number a we are passing that number and we are using here sub procedure sub procedure does not return a value main important point whenever you will use sub you don't need to write dollar never you should never use dollar in sub procedure sub procedure does not return a value so we do need to write here dollar so dollar removed fine enter a number a and while calling the sub procedure way of calling sub procedure is you should write here call statement then after that sub procedure name you don't need to use this sub here call then check n or a we are passing a that's fine so a done if check dollar again we don't need check dollar so this is also another error i will correct it here is also dollar written so i will remove that yeah two errors done so the value passed by using this a variable is received by n if n greater than zero n greater than zero then print n is positive fine in this sub procedure sub procedure does not return a value so we should print here print n is positive now else n less than zero no in else we should write if also else if then only less than zero so this is another error we should write else if n less than zero then print n is negative fine then else n is zero whenever you use if statement you should write end if also so this is missing here so you need to write so there are all together one two three four errors so we have corrected that and this is how it works last one end function not function this is sub procedure so end sub so this is a function and sub procedure debugging program these are very simple related to the if statement and normal hope you are clear with this thank you for watching if you have any type of debugging find the output or any program just you can comment in video i will make video on that have a good day see you in the next video